considering the amount of work that I see all around this room, I would say that you have maybe about 300,000. Congratulations. Hold on just a minute. What's up everyone and welcome back to Top 5 Central. Some people get lucky and maybe find like 20 bucks on the ground or they pick a lucky stock while others get lucky in other ways. One way to get really rich fast is storage units. So today we're looking at the 10 luckiest storage unit finds caught on camera. Before we begin, I wanna know what the craziest and luckiest thing you've ever found before and if you got to keep it. One time I found an empty wallet on the ground with almost a thousand dollars in it. But yeah, whoever comments the craziest thing gets pinned at the top of the comments. With that said, let's get right into it. Number 10. So when you buy a storage unit, a safe is pretty much the most exciting thing you could find. The thing is, most of the time, they're either empty or full of paperwork, so it's pretty rare to get a find like this. I mean, this guy had only just started buying units, and it was the first time he'd ever found a save, so he wasn't expecting much. With that said, he cracked it open and found stacks and stacks of bills, adding up to an insane $26,000. Not bad for a beginner, don't you think? This is why we buy storage units right here. Found a safe and a 5x8. You see if anything's in it. Maybe not. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Yay, daddy! Okay. Jamie, I'm trying to take a picture. Hold on a second. Let him see that how many 50s and shit are right there in that Just stack. The checks. They're all right. Number 9. Storage hunting is all about luck, which is why every once in a while, someone has a really, really good day. I mean, Daryl's was already on a roll. He had found an awesome signed basketball and trading cards worth a lot of money, but it was about to get way better. How? Well, they opened up a locker to find a room full of canvases, all apparently painted by a really famous artist. Now, they were sure they were fake, but an insane twist, every single one of them was real, and they walked out with an estimate of about $300,000. And then came the art locker. If this is a real Frank Gutierrez, this thing could be worth thousands. There's hundreds of Frank Gutierrez paintings. So I called an expert to come check them out. Well, it absolutely is Frank Gutierrez. Frank Gutierrez. Yes. You have a tremendous amount of Frank Gutierrez's work. In this is deep. Heart. You have to understand what the symbols are, and if you could read the symbols, you'll understand his story, and that's half the fun. I kind of feel it, you know what I mean? It's cool. It really is. It just really resonates around me. Is this stuff worth anything? Considering the amount of work that I see all around this room, I would say that you have maybe about 300,000. Congratulations. Hold on just a minute. $300,000? Bam! Being a gambler isn't just about winning. It's not. Number eight. You know that old saying, one man's trash is another man's treasure? Well, it kind of applies here. I mean, this locker full of Beach Boys merch won't mean anything to you if you're not a fan of the band, but for some people, it was priceless. The locker had everything from their first royalty checks to their original manuscripts, which made it so exclusive that there was a huge legal battle about who got to sell it. As for the price, well, that's impossible to measure since super fans are willing to pay anything and it's one of the biggest collections of all time. The world. And today, many fans see those items as rock and roll gold. And get this, a trove of Beach Boys memorabilia is now up for grabs after it was found in a South Florida locker. The California sound of the Beach Boys surfing USA, classic American rock and roll. You may have missed the 60s, but you can now see treasures from the band's rise to fame. 1962, this is the Beach Boys' first royalty check. The collection was found in an unclaimed storage locker in Bell Harbor in Miami-Dade County. After a long legal battle for control, is finally available to the public. Collection. And get this, bids are expected to fetch at least $6 million. That is California dreaming. Number seven. Everyone knows that storage units could be a bit of a lucky dip. Don't worry, this guy knew exactly what he was getting. Like he paid $800 online for access to this unit and seeing it up close was just as awesome as he thought it would be. 
I mean, not only was there a classic 1966 Ford Falcon 2 door survivor, there were other car parts as well, including a Mazda engine and parts of an old Jaguar. Best of all, the Ford was still in good enough shape to salvage, which means he could be driving the vintage car around the mountains soon enough. Rear end. Jaguar? Yeah, that's what that is. I get it. I get it. Huh. All right. So here we go. We got a 66. I haven't got any dirt off of this thing yet. It took me a while to get a few things rectified to get it running. But we're going good now. It runs and drives all right. Obviously, needs some work. Needs a restoration. So I think my plan with this car is uh, just to say I've had my fun with it. Number six. Here's a tip for anyone wanting to give storage hunting a go. Sometimes it's the units that look the most useless end up surprising you. I mean, people literally laughed when the door to this unit was open, but one guy took a chance on it and it turns out he was right. Like he paid $35 for a unit filled with a suitcase and a vacuum cleaner, but he ended up turning a profit because his suitcase had an envelope filled with $100 bills. It just goes to show you should never judge a book by its cover or um, a storage space by how empty it is. 30, 30 here, now 31. And people teased one of the regulars, a man named Bill, when he paid 35 bucks for it. But just wait. He found purses and shoes in the suitcase, but then he looked in the front compartments. Oh, yes! Oh, 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 oh yeah! Oh, oh, yeah! Inside the envelope, $100 bills. Oh, my God! Oh, I knew it! Oh, I knew it! Why did you pay for this unit? $35. And how much money did you just find? I think we just counted 15 $100 bills. Feeling pretty good right now. Oh, that's why we do this. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. But Number five. I've already said that storage hunting is usually a complete surprise, but there are times where everyone knows they're looking at something good. I mean, this group couldn't agree on what was under the blankets, but all of them knew it was some sort of car, and all of them were willing to pay big money for it. Like the auction was super dramatic, but in the end, there was just one winner and she was pretty happy with what she found. So what was it? Well, it turns out it was a silver DeLorean worth at least $25,000 and she had just paid over a few thousand for it. What do you think you have? A car? <laughs> oh, well, I sure hope you do. <laughs> You ready? Yes. One, two, three, two, three. Oh, 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 oh my God, I love it. Oh, oh, oh it's so oh, freaking DeLorean. All right, hey, show's over. Get the hell out of here. Let's go. Next time, spend some more money. Maybe we should have gone more. She don't even know what that's worth. She don't even know what it is. That's 18 grand's worth of motor there, minimum. Do you know how much, you know much money I could have made? What? Oh, Linda, beautiful. you know what these things go for if they no. run? Easy 25,000 pounds. I can't believe, how much? 25,000. Number four. Sometimes when you gamble, you've got to take a risk. And thankfully for these guys, it definitely paid off. I mean, seriously, this couple paid over $4,000 for one storage unit, which is a pretty crazy price if you ask me. Not just that, but it seemed like it was full of junk until they pulled the tarp off the back and revealed the treasure. What they'd actually found was not just one, but two motorbikes, full chrome and still in mint condition. So uh, to put it simply, they had found the unit of a lifetime. Told you away for four thousand dollars. It's all hey, yours. Hey, you just blew your whole welfare check today, Brandon. Good for you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. I feel like I'm playing. Let's make a deal here. What's behind door number one? Yeah. Whoa, oh look my at god. This. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. Holy. Yeah. This is what I've been waiting for. Yes. Oh, wow. my God. Oh, my God. Oh, I dreamt about this God. thing. Look Are at you this. Are kidding me? Freaking gorgeous. This is, this is the bin, this is oh the bin I've been my dreaming God. of. Oh, man. Are you kidding me? No, look oh at my this. God. This is chromed out. Yes. Honest. Number three. Now, storage hunters aren't the only people used to making insane finds. After all, it's the cop's job to track down valuable items that have gone missing. With that said, when the police raided this storage facility in Australia, I'm pretty sure they weren't expecting to find anything like this. 
I mean, inside was full of stolen gold and jewelry, as well as antiques, guns, and money from other countries. That's already crazy, but there was also around $4 million in cash, which means whoever stash it was, was running a serious business. New South Wales police have uncovered a treasure trove of stolen goods worth as much as $6.5 million after a raid on a storage facility in Sydney's Waterloo. Thousands of pieces of gold and silver jewellery, precious stones, antiques and heirlooms were recovered. There was also about $4 million in Australian currency, a large amount of foreign cash, silver bullion and five firearms. Police believe they were stolen during a recent spate of burglaries. Number two, I'll be honest with you guys, I really love this find because the story behind it is actually pretty crazy. Basically, the actor Nicolas Cage bought a copy of the first ever Superman comic way back in the 90s, and it was one of his favorite possessions. Now, I don't need to tell you that it was super expensive, but it's worth even more now, which is probably why it was stolen a few years later. With that said, it turned up way back in 2011 in a random storage unit in South California. Not just that, but the buyer didn't even know how the comic would be in there. Weird, right? It is one of the rarest of all comic books, Action Comics number 1, where Superman makes his first appearance. It was 10 cents back in 1938. Now it's worth more than a million dollars. I hired the security uh, enforcement, armed security enforcement, just because of the fact is I knew there's a million dollars sitting in front of me. Book. The man told detectives he found it in a storage locker like this one, but he says he bought the contents of several lockers at auction and can't remember which one. Police are checking out if that's true. We don't know, and so that is his story. Ultimately, what... Number one. Now, everyone says that storage hunting is like a modern-day treasure hunt, and I don't think that's ever been more true than it is in this story. I mean, no one knows what this guy expected to find when he paid $1,700 for two storage units, but I'm guessing it wasn't this. Like, one unit contained a small blue tote bag, and the bag is filled with ancient coins, now worth around half a million dollars. I mean, that's just like finding a pirate's treasure, except without the pirates or the ships. Think of uncovering lost treasure. You probably think about chests long buried on tropical islands. But for one lucky buyer in California, finding this pirate's gold was a whole lot easier. An auction of unclaimed storage units led to half a million dollars worth of legendary loot. And it looks like there is some serious history in these coins. And so this lucky buyer shows up at one of our sales and he pays $600 for one unit, $1,100 for the other unit, and he gets himself a great big blue Rubbermaid tote full of uh, coin. A Rubbermaid treasure hunt. And there's a video on the top 10 luckiest storage unit finds caught on camera. If you enjoyed the video, please feel free to leave a like down below and subscribe to see whenever we put a video. Also, if you've grown top five or tops an idea, feel free to use your Kameh Handy form in the description to submit it. With that said, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next video.